Right, good afternoon boys and girls. Muddy here and uh, it's late October. Nearing the end. End of October. And I've come out for an overnighter. Um, it's quite late. I had a number of things to do today and it all took a lot longer than you initially expect. But as you can see the colours are, are turning. Uh, all the greens are going golds into browns. Sorry, this isn't the best filming. Um, and uh, so I'm out. I'm out to uh, survive the night. There's about a million things that I forgot, as you'll probably see. Um, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Be a good experience. And uh, I thought I'd take you along. So I hope you enjoy. See you in a bit. Right, found a spot, um, it's nice and quiet, a little bit open, um, a few trees, but nothing I need to worry about, uh, should be a nice spot for the night, but it is getting dark, it is 5 to 5, it's going to be dark in about half an hour, uh, so I need to prep my fire and get a shelter up, um, so uh, time not to mess around, time to get on and do, let's go. Right boys and girls, uh, it's, um, it's quarter past five, as you can see, it's pretty dark, uh, I've just got my head torch resting in a tree, uh, and as such you can't see anything, um, I've just got my shelter set up, set up my bedroll, um, and uh, now it's time to uh, prep the fire, but you're not going to be able to see any of it unfortunately. Once I've got a fire going, I'll see if there's enough light to um, to show some bits and bobs. If not, it's going to be a case of let's have a look at what's going on in the morning before I pack up and get out of here. Uh, so, this could be good night. Right, boys and girls, apologies for the angle. Um, <laughs> I haven't got anything. I'm so unprepared for this. So, I guess that's a good thing. My Tinder of choice prickly customer of gorse uh, so I've made that into a bit of a nest we'll see how we get on with that other than that it's pretty slim I've got a couple of bits of birch bark here which might work let's get those out okay
success. Let's get another bit. Man make fire. As you can see I've got a screen kicking that heat back onto me. Gone for a bit of a TP style. And uh, now that that's going, I need to go find some firewood pretty sharpish. Dinner is on. That's my cooking side, that's my heat side, sausages. Okay, so sausages nearly done, and to go with those, look what I found, chicken casserole. Now I remember when these used to be like three or four quid, and then I saw them in Poundland, or 99p store, one of those. So that for a quid, brilliant. So that's got potatoes, mixed veg, and I'm gonna have some sausages with it. Yum yum, pig's bum. Now this is less than ideal. I did bring my Trangier, as you can see. That's my Trangier pan. But, guess you forgot the mess. Bloody idiot. So chicken casserole's heating up in there, over the fire. Sausages. Right, boys and girls, it's uh, it's about nine o'clock. I've eaten. <clears throat> Just having a bit of a lie down. I've got enough wood, so it's just chill out time now. Uh, it's so quiet out here. It's amazing. Only things I can hear are the occasional owl hoot, crackle of the fire, um, a bit of breeze in the trees and that's about it. But this is chilled out. Right, I think it might be bedtime. It's about 10 o'clock. Just had a hot chocolate. That was nice. And now I'm going to get into my sleeping bag. You can just about see my breath. It's going to be about 11 degrees tonight, centigrade, so that's not that's not too cold at all. 
Um, I'm actually quite warm at the moment, I'm just lying on top of my sleeping bag, but I think most of that's from the fire, and when that burns out I'll be cold. So, um, anyway, have a good night, see you in the morning. Good morning boys and girls, it is half past seven, uh, and I've just woken up, literally just sat bolt upright, um, and I slept really well. Uh, woke up at about one o'clock. I was quite awake for a little while uh, and that was down to being too hot basically I had to take some layers off and then uh, and I slept right through um, so time to get up get the fire going again get some water on have a brew and pack up but I'll show you my setup before we do that Right guys, um, same thing again, the only tinder that I've really got available to me is, um, is this, dry gorse, um, you know it's not my go to, especially in a pine woodland, um, but everything else is soaked and this is off the ground, it's dead, it's dry. Um, so I've used it. It worked last night, so hopefully it worked this morning. Found an ember from the fire. Just here. If I breathe on it, it's gonna melt my gloves. So here we go. Right, so now the fire's going. Time to uh, boil some water, get some breakfast on the go, and then uh, show you the setup. In fact, let's have a look at the setup now. So, boys and girls, here it is. Camp Muddy. Look around. Trees, 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 trees. Camp, trees, trees, trees. Bit of an open space. Water source, if I needed one. Rather dubious, though. Although uh, sediment is clearly at the bottom and the water on top doesn't look too bad actually. But um, so there is a water source there if I needed one, but I brought enough water with me, uh, about two and a half litres. So let's go in for a closer look, try not to trip up on anything. Fire's going nicely, that's my sit mat. I use this all the time, it costs about three quid from China on eBay. Brilliant. Right, okay. So, there's my bag. Bag is hanging 
in the tree and uh, that's the Miltech uh, I think it's called like the Recon Pack it's a 36 litre I've added this extra webbing at the bottom to carry my sleeping bag and obviously some molly pouches on the sides, water bottle um, to uh, to just carry some extra um, then trange here, there's bits and bobs let's get that out of the way, so what have we got here? well, we've got my tarp this is a 2.95 by 2.8 meter tarp and that's the make of it now there is a big sports shop uh, it's a French supermarket sports shop and um, it's called Decathlon and they've got a store near me and, and I picked this tarp up for 20 quid um, and I've used it a number of times but it's good it's got tie outs obviously on each corner I'll show you the tie outs so you can put a peg let's just see if that'll on there. You can put a peg through that buttonhole there, or you can put a guy rope on it, and it comes with these guy ropes attached, which are slightly reflective. I might swap those out for some paracord one day. Um, so that's tied out there. I've got a tie-out point in the back. You can see there is paracord on that. I took the uh, the white stuff off that middle one, um, and then it's pegged down in the corners where well, I have got a bit of paracord tied on and I keep that bit of paracord on to tie it onto a ridge line because that's the centre point running up there and then back down there um, so, so that's my tarp set up um, that's my hat uh, now let's talk sleeping so it's my ground tarp this is a um, an enormous enormous tarp I can't remember the size of it but it's silver backed green on one side, silver on the other, so I had that doubled over um, and it fits the, the width of this uh, so that's double sided and hopefully that's you know reflecting to the body heat back then I've got this, this is um, this is a roll of uh, stuff you put behind radiators um, and you uh, wallpaper paste it to the wall behind a radiator um, and it's, it's foam with a foil back now I usually use this in a hammock, but uh, I thought I'd bring it with me just in case I didn't know how cold I was going to be. It turns out I wasn't cold at all, I was roasting. Um, and uh, it's really light, so I've just put two two strips of that held together with, with duct tape. But I might cut it down a bit because it's quite bulky when it folds up. Then, in here, we've got... British Army Gore-Tex Bivy inside of which I've got this sleeping bag now I don't, I don't know what a sleeping bag is a friend of mine gave it to me he's um, in the armed forces he's a marine and he gave me a sleeping bag it's got these mesh pockets on the inside it's got uh, a zip up the middle so it's easy to get in and out of uh, and it's really warm it's got a velcro pocket there as well which is good for putting your phone in at night. You can put hand warmers in it. Um, so, um, so that was what I was sleeping in. I was absolutely baking. I even brought a wool blanket, which is there, which I'll show you another time. Um, but I just didn't need it. I just did not need it. So that's that's my sleep system. But I was toasty. Absolutely toasty. Too warm. Mind you, it was only 11 degrees last night, so you know, that's not too bad at all. Right. Let's get some water on the go. I thought some of you might want to see something I just erected. Mm. Uh, so I just made a bit of a tripod, a bit of cordage, and then made a bit of a pot hanger. And what's on the pot hanger? Oh, looky, looky. MCQ bushcraft guy art designs with bale mod being put to its proper use. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Yes, muddy. Yes, muddy it is. <laughs> 